What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 1440p visual, back with another banger today, guys, on a reaction video that is uh, quite uh, depressing, man, quite sad, man. Mopey left to hype. Now, um, I kind of thought about whether or not to even react to any of this, because I kind of know a lot of the guys. I've been in a lot of the guys' videos, so I want to call this down the middle you know for the most part as far as real relationships who i actually know on a personal i guess matter or actually have spoken with got their number it's only a few of them you know what i'm saying um i know cash the most you know me and cash go back a couple years now good friends for the most part got his number can hit him up facetime him talk to him on a normal He's there when I need him for the most part. Um, behind that, I would probably say is LSK. You know, I know LSK pretty well. Got his number. Can hit him up. Can pull up on him. And, you know, pull up to hang out with him if I, if I needed to. If I needed something specifically for him. For the most part, he's been there. You know what I'm saying? Um, then behind that, I would probably say it was between... I would have to probably say it was Mopey. I don't know Mopey too well. Mopey and I have exchanged DMs before. Mopey has bought from Sample. He's bought my clothing line. He's supported my clothing line before without me even knowing. When I actually met him and shook his hand and met him for the first time, he knew about me. He had already purchased product from me. He's already supported my brand without me knowing. And uh, I had sent him some stuff off, you know, just off the GP off of that whole thing. It was surprising. I didn't know that he knew anything about me. So my first... Um, my first, you know, time meeting Mopia was a surprise, and, and I respected that, man. I was like, damn, I didn't know you fucked with me like that, Mopia. That's what's, that's what's up, man. Um, Jezzer probably would come in next. You know, I've talked to Jezzer probably a few times. I don't got his number, but besides that, you know, yeah. I met Zach once, and that was well, maybe once in person, once online. For the most part, he seems very cool. We've He seemed chill when I was talking to him, at least. You know what I'm saying? And these are just my impressions, you know? And then uh, Jidel, I don't know much really thing about him. Uh, we did that one video with uh, with um, the uh, the two hype sneaker, the jersey and the sneaker stuff with cash and all that. For the most part, I can't really judge the man Jado, but he did seem like he was a little. I don't know. I can't really say it, but standoffish. He was a little. He, he doesn't seem easy to. He didn't seem. He was the least person that I could feel like I could actually link with or connect with. You feel me? And uh, TD, I think I might have met, hey, I met TD once in person at a sneaker con. He seems like a chill guy. I think I talked to him. He was pretty cool. Los, I never really, I know these guys are no longer in there, but I'm just speaking of anybody who's ever been in Two Hype. Los, I think I never really exchanged anything. I mean, I've been, I've been around him once in person, but that was about it. And then, of course, I don't know if they ever put Malcolm in, but in all honesty, Malcolm would be between Cash and LSK. I, I mean, I talk to Malcolm almost sometimes more than I talk to Cash. So, Mal, you know, I don't think Mal was ever even in too hype, but I definitely believed or thought he should have been in too hype. Now, this is a 43-minute video. We're going to put this thing on the 1.5 and see how this turns out because I don't want to be too long. I want to speed it up a little bit, and then we'll just listen to it and hear what he has to say, man, and we'll speak and give our own opinion. The tweets that have already gone out on Twitter, you guys already know what is going on here most likely, and yes, I am, uh, I am leaving too hype and um, I'm going to be talking about why in this video. Before getting into things, I want to make a few things clear. Uh, first few being that I turned down being in the 100 Thieves school, and I chose to leave to him. Um, I'm not yeah, that 100 Thieves thing is crazy, man. Hey, look, could I be 100? If 2 Hype was to come to me and say, yo, Tony, we fuck with you, we want a sneaker guy and that, I would have did it. I would be a part of 2 Hype. Now, I do want to see what's going on here, because it might make me reconsider. YouTube for the money or the clout. I don't like that word, but I gotta use it. It's not fame. I'm just saying it because all the guys that I know, I've always, I've always had good relationships. But one thing you gotta say is it's, it first impressions and few times meeting someone is different than being around that person every day because that's when they start getting comfortable and their true self comes out. So I can only base upon the numerous times I met these guys compared to someone like Mopey that lives with them. Might be a whole different experience. It's just it's clout, internet clout. I'm not doing it for either one of those things, and um. I got serious issues with four of the people in the six mm. members of the group. Um, not counting Cash and Mitchell. I got, I got respect for them. I never met them. Mitchell, know nothing if about him. I'm thinking I'm making this video for Money or Clout. You are sadly mistaken because I walked away from so much money. You guys have no idea. So much money. And uh, so much clout, too. Because I don't, I'm not about, like, 
I could have faked it. I could have faked it and gone along with everything. And been a part of 100 Thieves. I would have loved to be a part of 100 Thieves. Yeah. I don't think that Mopey is doing this for clout. I think there's something going on. Um, he never seemed like the guy that wanted to do clout. I mean, the man doesn't put... Not to diss you, Mopey, but I mean, it's not like you were putting out videos all the goddamn time already. You were kind of like doing your videos when you needed to get done. I don't see him doing this for clout. Yeah, it, nah. Uh, and that would have been a lot of money, too. But um, no, I'm, I'm not doing it for those reasons. I'm doing YouTube for fun, and being around those guys is not fun. Knowing all I do now about the group, I would not be able to like have pride within myself and be happy knowing I'm staying with these guys, knowing all that they have done. So... I am, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm doing, I have no clue what I'm going to do, but I'm not being around those people. And getting into talking about everything, um, they sent me a cease and desist letter, so I do need to be careful with what I'm saying. because God damn. Me. I've literally only said L-Hype, and I'll be making a video, and they're already sending me a cease and desist letter. Like, what does that tell you? Like, they're just, they're willing to do and say anything. I'll be going to do a lot more. God damn. That, but yeah, I'm going to be talking about a lot. So I need to make it very clear that I'm still legally a part of 2 I have left the production side. I am... Technically still part of the group until formal corporate matters are resolved. So that is why so much of this video is very vague, but continuing on. But the big picture, and if you don't care to sit through the entire video, which I, which I hope you do, because, you know, I, I hope not to make it too long, but there's a lot to possibly take away from this and just know about the online scene. But I've just been um, completely used, uh, just used, used and abused, uh, like used online, my, my mopey personality, um, and abused, like as Tyler, like everybody just... Forgetting about Tyler and only caring about Mopey and Mopey showing up for the videos. Everybody just just doesn't care about Tyler. And um, they were they're gonna say otherwise. Like when I put out my tweet, they all just tried saying they helped me out more than anyone, showing texts of support, like all that stuff. But no, I'm not I'm not having some fake agenda like that, like fake agenda that went out with like TD and Los go out there. Like I'm saying the truth. So again, nothing to talk about with Cash and Mitchell. They're good people. But um, yeah, going into each one of the individuals that I have issues with, I'll start out with Jesser because everybody's probably wondering like, wasn't that your friend since elementary school it's like yeah he was he's oh um, shit i did not damn these niggas known each other since elementary school <laughs> you falling out with your day ones jazzer too i mean mopey and the, the damn it's like me and d money got them falling out bro that shit can let that happen but damn that's 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 crazy it's just jesser there is no jesse and um he's been doing some oh. really nasty stuff that um I don't ever care to see him again or talk to him again. First of which, that happened God, damn. the stuff that happened over the year and past years, but and Chris was supporting this too. And but Jesse saying I'm fighting serious, serious demons and he's worried about me and basically just painting me out to be like mentally. Wait. Jesse saying I'm fighting serious. He's been going through a lot of mentally. He's been going through a lot mentally. Been fighting some serious demons. Y'all are fueling. Y'all are fueling someone who's not okay. So that's what they're trying to say that Mopey's like. His brain is not working. Okay, they're trying to. Damn. Demons, and he's worried about me, and basically just painting me out to be like mentally unstable because I put out my L hype tweet. Like, I can't, I can't describe how I feel about the manipulation and like the disgust for <sighs> what he's doing. I never thought that getting into YouTube years down the line, I would be having my own brother manipulated by Jesser and tried to be used against me as a manipulation strategy by him to, think, to make people think that he cares about me and that he's reaching out to my family to support me. Like. It, it, I can't even, like, it's, it's crazy. It, I can't, I can't, I'm speechless. I don't know how to form words right now because it's so ridiculous. After I saw Jesse talk about my brother in his video and my mom too, uh, which is 100% not okay with me. Um, Wait, I, I, I didn't even know. All I know right now is Mopey did a video and Cash did one. I'm going to react to Cash just right after this. I didn't know Jess or these boys already got them, get, they already got them trying to get, they, get their first words in on this motherfucker. I texted my brother and this is what he said. Uh, it's all good, bro. He did some weird shit with my mom, too. He's so fucked up. I talked to your brother for an hour, bro. So I'm guessing Jezzer told Mopey that he t I talked to your brother for an hour, bro. And he only talked, we talked to him for 37 minutes. And then his brother must have said, it's all good, bro. He did some weird shit with my mom, too. He's so fucked up. Check out the first minute. I just saw him so that because he called me yesterday and he said he wanted to keep everything offline yet he posted a video the next day and includes me in it. He told me all about all the hate he has been getting, so he's trying to make himself look better. I'm sorry, it's all good. It's not your fault. Please don't be sorry. I'm going to say the truth and it'll all be good. I can't imagine how rude it was for him to be talking to Jesser 
and like they've never talked before and he's trying to make it out like he was trying to help me by talking to him on the phone and then he wow. said online like he's like it, I, I don't even know what to say and the, the eyes too like he probably just rubbed his eyes and started to just get body rubbing. like it's, it's an act it's all manipulation act. he does not care he only cares because he wants to uphold his online image that's all he cares about that's all they, that's all, all that's all they that's all they all care about that's it and they'll send you anything to keep that i gotta take accountability for not being entirely open with how bad things were with me this year but I was open enough and things were visible enough to see that I needed help and Jesse was never there for me. Jesser, it's not even Jesse anymore. It's just Jesser was never there for me. And when I talked to him in person and he said I hugged him and tried to use it against me, whatever, like he, he hugged me. I wish I said just like I don't get away, like whatever, but yeah, um he he asked he he asked me what my goal was with L I T and if I wanted a bag. Like he wasn't going there to check on me or really talk to me. He what? Was, he, he, he made me feel bad. He tried to make me feel bad about the hate he was getting. Like it's it, so this nigga Jezzer saw when Mopey tweeted out the L hype, this nigga Jezzer pulled up on him like you know, trying to make it seem like he was like talking to him like, hey man, everything's good, but he was like basically there saying like my nigga, do you want some money to like be quiet? <laughs> Damn. It's ridiculous. Like, and the fact that he tries using the rent that he helped me out with and that he helped me out with my channel in the first place, and he uses that against me to like hit me under his thumb, it's terrible it's not friendship i that's not a friend because of all the stuff that's been happening i i wish i never took his help and i almost wish i didn't go and go move into the youtube house in your belinda i wish i just went to college sometimes and didn't get like, this season of this because how bad it turned out like I, i've literally just been a pawn i feel like to his grind to 10 million subscribers like yeah he helped me out with that stuff Damn. because he just needs people around him to make videos and um supporting that feeling that i have of being just used um when we made the vr channel was he took 51 percent of my vr channel like all those channels were just started up for money because vr channels were the fastest growing at the time he took 51% of my channel and then bragged about it. Like, I heard that. And he'll deny that or whatever, but that shit stuck in my brain. And Fuck. I believe how this dude... Y'all yeah, let me know if I need to hear Jess's side of the story, but this is sounding very manipulative, very, very e evilly. You know what I'm saying? This is some, some, some creep shit. I can say that about his friend, elementary school friend that he owns, like, his channel and, like, that's something to brag about. Like, it, it's like nothing I want to be around. And another story too, just how like selfish this dude is. And actually all the guys, this applies to all of them. But we were in a Discord call when it was time for Moochie to join too. I, we were talking and I put, I was, I was put it out there. I was like, hey, is anybody else willing to give up a percent or two so Mitchell feels more part of the group? Ah, nobody wanted to. He's just on a tiny salary now. Mitchell doesn't own a percent of two. Jesser was not willing to give up 1% for our elementary school friend. One of the dudes that adds the most to the group Pure, good person, funny, entertaining. Damn, Mitchell. These That's Mitchell. Jesser could not give up one percent for him. We could have all given up a percent. They talking about Mitchell. Hold on. I, uh, I was put it out there. I was like, hey, is anybody else willing to give up a percent or two so Mitchell feels more part of the group? Oh wow. It's not fun. It's not fun or friendship. It's a business. And the thing that makes it so annoying is they try to paint it as not a business, and it's all about friendship and all of them doing it for fun. It's like, no, stop being so like, stop trying to keep the greediness and selfishness in the dark. Like that's what's aggravating for the people that have been abused by it. Like, own up to the shit. Like, stop lying. Like it. Like, it's so bad. Like, like the sidemen are a great example. Like, they're a wannabe sidemen, but they're terrible people. Like, what else would you expect from a wannabe sidemen group from L.A.? Like, it's bound to be... That nigga Mopey sending shots at them boys. Wannabe sidemen? God damn. Sidemen is like the KSI group of... KSI is a part of them, like, group of people in the U.K. and shit. Just greedy, selfish, self game like, all that. So, sidemen, sidemen are amazing because they're genuine. They're, they're, they do stuff fair. They don't abuse people on the business side. I, like, I found out some stuff on the business side that's like, what the hell? I don't care about the money like that, but I want to be treated people. I want to be treated with respect, and that's what happened. Like, they're just not, they're just, like, they're not humans. They're, they're not real people anymore. They have ascended past humans, normal people, and they're YouTube gods. They are YouTube gods now, and they, um... God damn. They just, they just make decisions. Like, um, I heard that, uh, Jesse, Jesser and Chris were talking to TD about kicking me out of the old house in Yorba Linda because I was, like, hanging out with my ex-girlfriend, or, um, I was just not uploading enough. I never knew that. Just like Lowe's and TD didn't know they were kicked, and, and Mal too, they didn't know they were kicked until it was already the decision. Oh, so wait, so Mal was a part of it. I gotta listen to Cash's shit then. Okay, because I, I did think that Mal was in it. Something told me Mal was in it, but then he wasn't. It was like super fat. I didn't like that. I don't like I don't like that, man. I don't like that Mal was I don't I don't I don't me personally, in my opinion, I just don't like it. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I don't give a fuck about relationships. I feel like Mal should have been a part of it. Not to knock anybody, but it's like, bro, Cash is my favorite, one of my favorite YouTubers out here. You feel me? Like, one of my favorite of all time. Like, kind of, like, gr makes me grind, right? And it's like, okay, 
Jezzer brought on Mopey. Mopey's Jezzer's best friend or whatever. Fucking Mitchell, was, I guess, is their best friend since elementary school as well. Jidel is is Jezzer's brother. It's like Jezzer's bringing all these people, which is fine. Maybe he created Two Hype. I don't know. Maybe it was his idea. But it's like Jezzer's been able to bring all these people in. But Cash can't bring a, bring a homie, his brother, basically. You know, his best friend on board. You know what I'm saying? Like, or, you know, I, just, I don't know. I just feel like, I just feel like, yeah, that's just, I don't know. I don't know how these, all these people got brought on board. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who met who, but I, I guess the way I looked at it was they were all doing 2K and they kind of, I guess, agreed upon one another. I don't know. I don't know the full story. That's why I don't want to give too much opinions out because I don't know the full story. I could be talking shit and not know. But I do feel like for the amount of people that Jezzer's brought on that he was close to, brothers, best friends, elementary people, and Mal couldn't stay on board, and Cash is a big-time fucking influence, a big-time uh, part of 2Hype, in my opinion. You take Cash out of 2Hype, it ain't the same, bro. I ain't going to cap. Like I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You take Cash out of that motherfucker, it ain't hitting. Cash gives it, gives it soul. Gives it flavor, you feel me? Need to like, have normal conversation. They just make terrible decisions on their own. Like it's just it, it's there's it's nothing to be around unless you're a part of a part of it and want to just. I don't even know. I'm I'm so glad I'm out of it. And, and the weird thing is too, they're in denial. Like they're just so deep in their own lies and just thinking that they're right and that everyone else is just the bad people just going out out to get them. It's like something something he said to me was all things. It's like. So nobody can get lost in the money in the, the internet clout. Nobody can lose themselves. That's not a thing. Like, I've seen how this dude talks to people, like his like editors and people out in public, like working people, and it makes me sick. It's like again, just a YouTube god, like looking down on people, talking down on people, talking shit about people, because apparently they feel like they can. Like apparently they feel like they're the next American Sidemen and they can do whatever they want. It's like it is their heads are just their heads are gonna fall off. They're getting so big and they can't. Like, I can't. I don't even. I'm, making, I'm trying to make a joke. So I can't even. I can't. I don't know. Another situation that stands out in my mind is we were we were out eating. It was Jesser, a friend of ours, and, and me, and we were at Cheesecake Factory eating outside. We didn't even have our food yet, and Jesser sees this kid like walk by or whatever, and we can kind of see when someone's kind of like looking back and might recognize us. And he's like just begging for the kid to not like walk over and say hi. And it's like it's a little kid and his dad, like, and Jesser's just begging like, no, please don't come over here. Like, leave us alone. No, like I swear. And it's like this kid. It's probably gonna make this kid's day at at least day, probably week. Or for something like that, just meeting Jesser. But the other side of it is this dude is begging for him to not come over and say hi. Chris, put the it sounds fucked up. It might be fucked up if it's continuously happening. But there can be times where people might just not want to be bothered. You know what I'm saying? I don't know that specific situation, but trust me, I get taught, I get stopped a c couple of times, and I never feel that way. Now at SneakerCon, it can get uh, it can get out of hand because you might be wanting this to eat. Or take a piss and a motherfuckers in the motherfucker is asking you for a picture while you're pissing. Yes, it's happened to me. Motherfuckers have asked me for a picture while I'm eating a hot dog and I'm starving. I ain't ate all day. Those type of things I get. But I mean, if it's just like a random walk by, yeah, I mean, come on, Jesse, you can do you, you, you can do better than that. But I can understand where at the same time, some people are just sometimes some days people just want to be just they just want to do the simplest things without being stopped or bothered. I don't know this specific time this happened, but yeah this in Jesser like that he's better and doesn't need to like talk to the people that support him and it's like it's it's nasty and I feel I feel bad as a friend that I couldn't help stop that happening but he was just living with Chris and Zach for so long that like these terrible attitudes about just just life just completely just changed this dude and, and then thinking it's okay to paint me as mentally unstable online just because I'm saying like I'm saying F the group L hype and he's trying to like it's just so mind-boggling how like what happened and it's really sad but I, um, I'm just getting away from it. I'm not going to rack my brain over trying to change people. They're just so deep in their own ways. It's like, I'm just leaving. I'm not being a part of it. Moving on to Jidel. Um, this dude has just treated me like trash for so long now. Um, in the videos and outside of the videos. Mm. This, um, this attitude that he would have in my videos of not giving a shit. Like, he would put a smile on for his video. So that's what I'm saying. Like, call it what you want. I don't really give a fuck. Jidel, he had that same attitude when we did the sneaker thing. Like, he was just kind of like... He even kind of was like telling me like I don't know he said some shit to me one time like, dude your fucking room looks like a an aquarium what are you talking about I, it was some weird shit he said to me one time kind of like what the fuck are you saying like it was weird bro but uh he kind of I don't know about Jadel man I just don't his attitude Videos. these are all first impressions because I don't know the man well enough to make this type of conclusion but yeah snap like that 
and for my videos he would just look like he does not want to be there and just acts like a terrible just a terrible person just to have in the videos and um yeah I, I talked to jesse about this and he said he noticed it that he actually keeps my videos not even other people's like specifically mine less than others and cares less oh, okay well at least two, he said the same thing that he noticed it and um when i tried talking to Jadel about it he said i'm sorry or he said he said he noticed it and then he's sorry but in this video i was looking off to the side at mitchell off camera da -da 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 -da, just like excuses like i didn't confront him about this issue for a while that's on me that's on me that i let it go on again but it was just i've, I've been i'll go into some stuff later but yeah i've just been pushing off a lot of my issues and that was one of them and um it just really goes to show that this dude was low-key hating on me for a while because this same situation happened back at the Yorba Linda house where I said, can you please act better in my videos? Like, try to care more. Years down the line, it's happening again over like a six-month period. I don't know how long. Just a really long time. And it's like this dude's like 25 years old and puts on a smile every single time for his own intros. And then he wants to like act like he forgets to put a smile on for my videos and not like own up to it. And it's not even like it was just about the videos. Like, he would talk down to me as a person. Like, he's just... And if you look at his tweets, the way he tweets, this dude thinks he's just on another level and he's super intelligent or something. Like, it, it makes me... It makes me, like, hate... Like, I'm not being a part of a group where some dude was low-key hating on me. Like, I'm not ever supporting that guy again in my life. And that's not a person I want to be friends with. And you, you guys shouldn't want to be friends with someone that makes everything a competition and wants to take things away from you that you've done. This is, this is kind of petty stuff, but just this, like, example was, like, when I broke his ankles. He made a whole video saying I didn't break his ankles. Mm, hoodies have been my thing since, like, elementary school. And I've made multiple hoodie collection videos. And he still wants to say he has better hoodies than me. Like, he can't just have custom shoes. He needs to have hoodies as well. That needs to be his thing, too. And it's like, I'm not being friends with someone that's Loki hating on me and tries to devalue things I've done. Like, mm. Why would I ever want to be friends with someone like that? It's the, in, in the craziest thing about it, too, and this just, it's it's insane, is that I was Jesse's elementary school friend. This is a brother treating his brother's, or this is a dude treating his brother's elementary school friend with such disrespect. Like, like, I can't, like, great, great brother to do that. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm just getting out of there. Here's some clips to show what I'm talking about. Not sure how long it's gonna take, but check this out. And keep in mind, too, that this happened at the Yorba Linda house two years ago, and it happened again. Yo, what's good, guys? It's down. Yo, what's good, guys? Yo, what's good, guys? It's down. 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 Yo, what's good, guys? Yo, what's good, guys? It's down. 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 Yo, what's good, guys? It's
on live stream. I think it happened like twice or something like that. And hey man, I got to give a shout out. I think I, I, I don't know if Woofy is the is the Ashley Saunders or whatever her name is, right? Uh, salutes to her, man. She raided me one time on Twitch back when I was like just beginning on my Twitch my Twitch journey, man. She raided your boy. I don't even know her. She didn't know me. She just randomly raided me. So salutes to her. I ain't got nothing against her. He got me to think. But I think that was his ex or something like that. She was a bad person, and she did him wrong. When in actuality, they make you like hate who they hate, and you only hear their side. I know that was one of his exes or something. One of the great talkers. Side and be mind blown at how shit actually is because you only hear their manipulative fake side. There's the same thing that happened with Glows and TD. Like from Chris and Zach, I was. Oh, maybe I'm wrong then. And, and Whoopi, I thought she was, she did bad too. Okay, now I'm telling you, this is another girl. Oh, this is another chick named Woofy, my bad. I know that he was like, one. I know something happened with Zach and like, someone else's girlfriend and that Ashley chick and all that, but salute her. I don't know who this Woofy is. Because of things they said, but they were just untrue to get me to not talk to them and keep the group just everybody against these people. So they seem like the bad people. She was done so horrifically wrong. Like, and she couldn't even defend herself. She tried she tried suing for defamation, but that's a really hard thing to win on Twitch. Damn. She just got her name destroyed online. Like, she's a good person. And I encourage you guys to check out her video or the pod, or there's not pod, uh, like, VODs, whatever, the, the streams, the highlight streams. Like, those are out there. Like, go hear her side. Don't just listen to Zach's manipulative, terrible side, just throwing her under the bus because he was being lazy with the videos. And I would never look at that dude ever, ever the same again. And other things he's manipulated to me about, like, earlier this year, I received terrible jokes from Chris and Zach. Like, terrible. Like, I can't even, I can't even talk about them. And cause so much pain like, and, and I was already in such a bad place this year and I, I told me that I didn't know that stopped. the only time the joke stopped after a period of time when I said I was taking a mental break and not being a part of videos so then they immediately stopped that's that's what it takes for them to stop I guess but hearing those kinds of jokes and that's what Zach and Chris find hun find honey find funny um I don't care to be around them and all else that Zach has done like just seeing how fake in the manipulation like I tried talking to him about it and he just denied it and it's like these guys can't own up to anything and it makes you feel like it makes me feel crazy like how Lowe's, TD, and Woofy, and Walker, and everybody that's been done by wrong by these people, like, are, feel crazy in some way. Like, did I do something wrong? Am I, like, what? Like, it's no. They try to do that, and they make you feel like, like, they're right, and that they didn't do anything. It's terrible. So I encourage you guys to check out Woofy talking about it. Lowe's, years ago, talked about it. You can see the passion and anger in his voice talking about Chris and Zach, because it's so aggravating that kids just go with what these dudes say. So go back and listen to what Lowe said years ago. TD made an amazing video talking about Chris's terrible 45-minute video, and just TD spoke on stuff as well. Like, go check out those things if you don't believe me. Like, the facts are out there. And, like, I don't know what this dude is going to go on live stream and say, but he could say whatever he wants and will say whatever he wants because he's, like, protected by Twitch and it's hard to sue for defamation. So he's going to do and say anything to keep his online image because that's all he cares about. Like, none of these dudes are going to go and work a normal 9-to-5 job again. They are going to say whatever they can to keep their online image, it's including making me seem mentally unstable, which Jesse, Chris, and Zach have already participated in. Like, Zach was retweeting, like, mental illness stuff, and it's just, like, it's such a joke. And moving on to Chris, I have never been more disrespected in my life than when I talked to Chris and went against something he wanted, which was um, him and I had a conversation about the YouTuber trading cards when I said I did not want to be a part of those. Um, I've just, I've never been so disrespected as a person before and what I want to just be shit on because it goes against putting money in his pockets and what he wants for his business. Like, I can't, I don't even know what to say. And the amount of terrible things he's done, like, it's been talked about a lot, but the two I've auditions, I'm bringing it up again. Like, yes, everyone in the group went with it, but that's just because oh. he's just the ringleader. Yo, just so you guys aren't confused with my video today, I'm posting a vlog to tell fans to audition for the open room in our house and whoever takes Los's old room will join 2Hype as well. The fan audition part isn't for real. Just for content to hype up us. Just for content to hype up us adding Walker and possibly T-Jazz to the squad. T-Jazz is making his decision this week. Basically, but regardless, we're going to announce a Walker. Uh, announce officially that Walker, he's in too hype. So it was a f finesse video. And wants to do what he wants to do. And like, we, we didn't, we, nobody really stopped him. It's on our, that's our fault as well. But just the fact that this dude was okay with people taking time out of their day, possibly going to sleep with thoughts about like thinking about joining too hype when it was never a reality, never a possibility, just all for his video entertainment. Like, whatever. Like, it's just nasty. Like, it's so bad. And, like, the mistreatment to other people around him that I know about, like, I'll never look at this dude the same. And he could say, like, oh, he's realized a lot about himself and he's making changes. But it's, like, in his tweet saying that he's apologizing for sugarcoating stuff, he's literally sugarcoating. He hasn't changed. Like, he should have said, I'm sorry for lying to you guys and manipulating you guys. Like, I'm moving on from that. 
but he said, I'm sorry for sugarcoating, which is sugarcoating the lies and manipulation, which are, there are so many out there. Like, he literally had to delete a 45 minute video that he put out because it was so terrible. It was, I, can't, I couldn't even watch it. I don't know how Los managed to sit through it, but he tore the video apart, like, breaking down everything, how it was such bullshit. TD, TD's video as well talked about it. Like, terrible. And just the manipulation and playing the victim card. Like, when I put out my L-Hype tweet, he put out all he did. Like, feel bad for Chris, whatever. Like, it's just, it's such a joke. And knowing, knowing how it really is, like, it makes, it's, that's why we're all talking about this stuff. Because it hurts knowing what the truth is. And then the fake agenda they put out being believed by kids. Like, that doesn't sit well with us. Like, we want to know, we want the, the we want the people to know what the truth is for ourselves. So that we don't see, like, comments, um, like, not knowing what's really going on and things up in the air and assumptions made for us to get stuff off our chest. And for the people to know that they're literally being manipulated. Like, these are just YouTubers just trying to keep their image. They're going to say and do whatever they want. They're not going to air out what they've done or else they wouldn't have platforms. Like, and that's why I put out the L-Hype tweet on the night they won the streamies. It's like, I don't regret doing that. Because if you guys knew all that I knew and there's more stuff I can't even talk about, then it's like, you wouldn't blame me. It's like, yeah, they don't deserve to be in that position. Like, they don't deserve to win that. Cash and Mitchell feel terrible that they're part of this. They're great people. But the rest of them, like, no, they're very selfish and just doing it for the money. And it wouldn't be such a big deal that they're doing it for the money and trying to retire off this stuff. But it, it's the fact that they paint it like they're not. And they're good people. And it's like, that's where it's aggravating. And I'm not having it. I'm not having some fake agenda go out there about why I left, what happened to me. Like, no, I'm saying the truth. And I'm putting a lot on the line, too, to tell the truth. You guys have no idea how much I've walked away from to say this. And I'll never forgive Chris and Zach for turning Jesser into the person he is. Like, he's lived with them for too long. And, like, I couldn't, like, I feel pain in myself as a friend that I couldn't do more for him and help him out but between chris zach and james like I, there's nothing i could do really i mean i i, I probably could have done more but i just have to accept it and move on and just know i can't do anything now damn and after this that they stopped mopey is so terribly and they talked to people with mopey is like tearing chris and zach apart saying they're basically the the, the, the roots of all this shit like every single person should be talked to with respect by these guys and not hurt anymore like knowing how they talk to like editors and people that are helping them out and like it's, it's just, it needs to stop. And it's like, how did I stay a part of the group for so long with all this stuff happening? It's because I numb myself. Uh, you guys don't know this about me, but I need to make things combine my two lives. I've been living this mopey life, and then I have Tyler, my life, that I've been numbing myself and hurting myself for a while. And um, yeah, I've been abusing uh, the sauce, the devil's lettuce. I'm not saying the word for demonetization or whatever, but yeah, I've been abusing that, nicotine, and in the past year, alcohol. The sauce, the devil's lettuce? I've never heard that shit before. That's a new one. The sauce, the devil's lettuce like really badly and it got so bad this year and i tried to quit so many times i tried to get help um you know i put like this text and this is a great example of the kind of support these guys offer as friends um talking about starting a drinking problem and stopping it and oh the sauce okay so the sauce is the drink and the devils he said lettuce yeah if this is chopped yeah if this ch Chopped isn't edited well. I'ma cry. Yo, just uh, just more of a just, wait. Look at me. Yo, just more heads so you guys can prepare. But I'm taking another week off from recording personal channel videos for myself and others starting Sunday. I'm down to being your video Sunday cash. But after that, just too hype stuff. I'm already I've already quit the vape. Stop the drinking problem I was developing and sorting out a lot of tax and bank stuff. That been put off a long time much more to do but ready to get back into the after this one more week of preparing yo james and zach have you guys started watching the chopped draft damn he said that them niggas ain't even chris kept it moving oh no they thumbs it up they thumbs it up but niggas kept talking about whatever they were talking about just trying to get better and then everybody only has time to just just like it like just thumbs up Not yeah a single word of encouragement or anything um, and just goes back to talking about video shit and it's like, okay, cool. Great support. And then we got Jesser over here immediately texting me after once he sees that for me to be in his sponsored video. Like I hadn't talked about these issues I've been having. Yo, Tara, I saw your message. Is there any possibility that, that, that possibly you could be in the Welsh's video? Also cash isn't filming Sunday only asking because it's a sponsor and you had it and you had Cause it's sponsored and had you in it in the plans. If you can't, it's okay. But wanted to ask if you need any advice for money stuff. Just asking. Yep, I'm down for sure. But to be in that one, thank you. And thanks to yeah, I gotta take some more time on my. But I'm gonna get good and follow great things. You've been doing great. Once I'm set. All right. And then he doesn't even acknowledge it. He just asked me to be in his sponsored video. And then he says thank you. Then I say one more thing to try to get some acknowledgement. And then he just says proud of me. If I hadn't say that one, if I hadn't said that one text before or after thank you, it would have conversation would ended. And I didn't hear anything in person. Like, there's, they did not, no one cared about Tyler. Like, it was only Moby. If Moby could show up for videos. And it's like, it's it's sick. It's not, it's not real friends. It's like, what the, like, I'm a person that was, like, 
it, I'm out of there. I'm not being a part of it. So things got so bad with me. I had no support. Couldn't quit that I went into rehab. I went into a place in LA for 25 days. It was October 21st that I got sober. I've been sober since. Um, I'm not counting the days. I'm trying to challenge myself to do a year, but it's been really tough. And since getting sober, sober, I realized like I'm not being around these people because they contributed to me using. Like they do that stuff themselves and they treat me terrible. So like, it's not a good environment for me. I'm not being around that environment. I want to be healthy. I want to stay sober. Like, so I'm staying away from them. I hope to never see them again. While I was not entirely open with how bad things were for me, they'll say like they, they didn't know and I just kept to myself. It's like if anybody, nobody, I said I was taking breaks and I wouldn't upload and I wouldn't be around for weeks and like months on end and no one checked on me for like months and months. And like my living situation, my hallway was so bad. Just everybody walks by it and thinks nothing of it. Like what I, what's going on in my room and like what I'm doing to myself in my room. And it's like, it got so bad with my hallway that it could be pitch, it could be pitch black dark. And I memorized where to step to not step on shit and get to my room. Like, and I don't want to blame my, my living situation and how I was treating myself. Was he just having beer bottles everywhere? Like, what the fuck is he talking about? Well, I know he had that hoarding thing. ...on them, but I'm not having to go out there that they were supportive of me or trying to help me. Like, it was just me. Like, and something that really stood out to me as a good person was um, Jeff, actually. He and I were talking, and he asked me twice, how's it going? Because the first time, it's just the typical good. You know, I'm not going to just unload everything if somebody asks me how it's going. So he asked again, and sincerely he asked, and I told him. And then he's like, let me help you. Let's move this stuff out of your hallway. That's a really big thing if you're just living in, like, shit for so long. You can't, like, obviously you're going to be depressed and in a really bad place. I was like, nah, not tonight. He, he said, no, we're doing it tonight. Like, you know you're not doing anything. Let's move the stuff. And one night, we moved everything out of my hallway, which has been like that for months and months and months and months. In one day, or one night, somebody that really wanted to see me do better and be better and be in a better place made that happen. And it's like, that's a real friend. That's who I'm going to go try to be around. Not these YouTube, like, gods that think they just whatever, dude. Like, no, like, I'm, I'm getting out of there. And, and Jesse wants to go online and say I'm fighting serious demons. Like, no, they're the only demons I'm fighting, those guys, because they're trying to paint me out to be mentally unstable. Because I went to, like, rehab because I was using those substances that are legal in my state. Like I can smoke and I can drink and I could use nicotine products. And they're trying to paint me out as crazy for that stuff. Like I don't, like it, it's a joke to mental illness and that they- I will say something. I understand where you're coming from, Opie, but that is a good term of saying you're fighting some personal demons. You're fighting some personal problems. I get you on that, but I, I you being sober now and being able to still reiterate these things, I don't think that you, I think it's more sincere now. Like, they can't use that you're still, if you were to come out with this video while you were fucked up, then I'd be like, yeah, but the fact that you're sober doing it, then yeah, I mean, I can kind of, I gotta, you know, I, I feel like you you have a clear head on your shoulder to speak how you feel. They care, and it's just such a joke. It makes me sick, honestly. It's like, yeah, they care about me so much, but they're screwing me over on the business side and sending me cease and desist letters and doing what they're doing online talking about me like like i just want to move on from this chapter of my life and have people know what's really going on behind the scenes how they treat people and what they've done to other people like again low speedy mal walker walker was done really bad too by the way when y'all see me do this like look i'm looking at a i'm looking at the screen and i'm watching and i'm also looking at the screen right here too i have two screens of the same video playing so if you ever see me look like that i'm doing the same damn thing just let you know i was i was i thought walker did something wrong but he's a good person walker is a good person that has been done wrong and just gets like just trashed on because they've made him out to be like a bad person and it just sucks and I'm, i feel shitty that was walker it, td i'm guessing I'm out and i'm just glad that i can talk about stuff and i did not sign anything keeping me from doing that like here's some text from chris about the manipulation of lows to the group and it's like to me like yo guys i hate to bring this up again but i just wanted to be clear and upfront with everyone that i no longer wish to speak or talk about lows online or off like any interaction i'm unfollowing all the platforms next week when it's when this dies down the shit he just said to me in conversation, I personally will look at anyone in the group differently if you guys engage in any sort of sort with him online or off. Damn. Anything, but he's talked about all of you. Literally, Cash Mopey, I hope you know he's using you. So basically, that's why Cash was like cool with low still, but they don't really interact that much. I wonder if Cash is doing that because he doesn't want because LSK is saying, if any of y'all engage with any anything with him, I'm going to look at y'all differently. Can, and then he says Cash and Mopey, because I guess Cash and Mopey were still cool with them. Can you explain what he said that made you look at him differently? I just want to clear this up, man. I don't care what he thinks. Wait, I just want to clear this up, man. I don't care what he thinks he got, to be honest. Just want this to be done and over. Keep looking forward. That's the problem, Cash. You're feeding him the more you interact with him. I'm taking the high road and don't wish to care to know what. Damn.
I don't know what the fuck Cash is saying, but I wanted to clear things up. I don't care what he thinks he got, to be honest. Wait, what? what I don't know. Well, Cash was well. Yeah, Cash let the, let it be known. Like I don't care about all that shit. I guess. Like I have to stop being friends with Lowe's. I'm very. That's the problem, Cash. You're feeding him. The more you interact with him, I'm taking a higher road and don't care to wish to care know about what he said about us to, to him. But just know he's not a good friend. Him threatening to use conversations he had with Mopey and Cash to make you guys, make you guys in the group look bad. At, to clear his name is his intention. If Zach doesn't give a real apology or deletes his tweets and what I said, what I just said, don't talk to him about because it won't make it any, any better. I'm just letting you know, Friday, Fortnite, any reaction toward him online, all that, no bueno. After Zach says his peace, let's move on from this dude completely. I never talked down on anyone personally in the group, so whatever he says is false. Just, like just let him win. And I'm not being controlled by some dude, so yeah, it's just... Mm. If you find one, sure. So Cash trying to, yeah, you know, Cash keeping it real. Do you have two ISD cards trying to sell for video leaving now for F Big Five? Bro, are you still t talking to Los? No, I'll show you the text why. Just wondering, because he texts Jess, I guess. No point responding to him anymore. Yeah, not me. Yo, do you have one of my memory cards? Yep, coming down now. Just, like, it's just dumb. It's just ridiculous. Now I'm going to be going over some of the texts Damn. that have been put out by these guys because they need to be talked about and just goes to show, like, just how ridiculous it is. Um, Starting out, I want to clarify this one about Chris talking about hiring security and him putting that out there without this explanation, just leading people to believe that he had to hire security because of me or whatever. Like, I don't know, just playing the victim card. So the reason that Chris hired security was because my dad. I had a talk with him and I told him Sorry. that I saw him. Uh, sorry, Dr. Pepper. I sat down with our manager at the time, my ex-manager, and he told he told him, and he threatened Chris. Like, that's, that's a dad. Like, I wish he didn't do that. That's not okay. But it's my dad just being protective of me, like knowing what this dude has done to me. And mistreated me when my dad shook Zach and Chris's hands that he trusted them to be the older guys and that I'd be not going to college and living with these guys and these older guys and to like be responsible and take care of me in a way and they not only did not they did they did not do that but they contributed to the bullshit so yeah my dad was pissed and he threatened Chris like that it's not good but he wouldn't hurt anyone but that's what happened with that and then more of the victim card jokes on me I guess SMH right yeah and then um the one about like acting like he was there for me more than anyone else in his life Hmm, that sounds pretty familiar to Jesser's tweet saying he was there for me more than anyone else in his life as well. Right, they were both there for me more than anyone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me let me put out these tweets showing messages of me reaching out to him and sending him videos to listen to or whatever and checking in, checking in. Like, no, it's a joke. Same thing for Jesse if he, try, Jesser, if he tries to put out anything, like of him sending me shit like, oh yeah, I've been extremely down. Let me just listen to this thing and I'll be all good. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Also, I don't know what he's talking about with the block stuff. Like, I got blocked by him and Jidel like weeks and weeks before. So he blocked me first. I don't know what he's talking about. Speaking of Jidel, we're going to talk about his terrible tweets. Lowe's had a great response to any emoji that fit perfectly to the tweets that were put out by Jidel and how terrible they were. Like he's Lowe's had a great response to... All you guys do is lie and contradict yourself. Like, just as the fuck up when you all group FaceTime me to kick me out. You really said it's not personal. It's because of business and that me and my brand don't align with any direction. Keep lying. Yo, can I still be in the true creator to hype box packs, though? Bot any emoji that fit perfectly to the tweets that were put out by Jadel and how terrible they were. Like he's saying group payments are larger with more people. No, they're not. If we're doing a brand deal on the channel, they're not paying. Splitting to hype into smaller divisions for better brand deal payouts. Never discussed and never even thought of it. Group payments are larger with more members involved as a reach of group. That doesn't even make sense from a logical standpoint. They're not going to pay more because there's nine people instead of six. They're going to pay like let's say 100k. That 100k is split amongst six people instead of nine. So the six people get way more. Uh, same thing with ad revenue. We get that split amongst six people instead of nine people. How? Like, no, it was business. It was business for money. And he wants to say he's so selfless in such a, it's his passion. And he's, he's, not, he's not doing it for the money. Then why couldn't he give up? He wants to say he's so selfless. We're all solely driven by money. My CPM on rebuild videos exceeded over $12 at times. I've never reached that number or close since I gave that up for the rates. Half of that because the content made me happier. In such a it's his passion and he's, he's not he's not doing it for the money then why couldn't he give up one percent for mitchell huh nobody could nobody wanted to chris chris even like like he like he laughed and not laughed but he was like that's all you do if you want to do that it's like like this, this shit is not a friendship it's not cool it's it's a business don't try to play it off like it's not a business one percent shouldn't be that big of a deal bro frustrating about this and then chris is more chris's tweets after he deleted everything and just wants everybody to move on and forget i won't be entertaining any negativity blah blah, blah. 
to the fans, I apologize for sugarcoating. He's literally sugarcoating right there. Life is short. Let's focus on ourselves. Yeah, I'm just going to be a terrible person and life is short, guys. Just forget about it. Just everyone move on. Focus on yourself. If you try to comment about it, you're just going to get blocked. Just, you're just going to get blocked and I'm just going to carry on with my life and just keep being good and just doing what I'm doing. Like, it, it's so frustrating. That's how that's how YouTube works. That's how the online scene works. Like, they just block out the hate and just carry on. Like, check this out. These are the blocked words on the Twipe channel. It's a lot of shit. You can't comment anything negative. They don't allow any negative negativity. It's like I'm not being a part of the censorship of the people. Like you can't, you can't, you can't criticize when you there's you get blocked and you just. It's so dumb. It's nothing I want to be part of. What was really tough actually was my name was added to the blocked word list when I was in rehab. When 100 thieves joined two eight, my name was added to the blocked words and they put that out there or they did that when they said that I was taking time off from videos. Like they were just tired. Like I don't know if they were just tired of people seeing saying where's Mopey, but they literally added me to that. Like. That didn't feel good, and amongst other things, like seeing Chris like say no to Nate Shot when he brought up my name and the way Chris said it was such in like a heavy way. It's like and just more nasty, weird stuff that I saw in rehab made my decision of leaving much, much easier. Because that's a big reason why I went to rehab. I wanted to get sober and decide if I wanted to be a part of stuff or not. And I saw a lot and thought about it so much that I made it, it was a very easy decision to leave. So since leaving, I've been just at my mom's house. I have not been doing very much. I'm going to be trying to get back into the YouTube stuff, but. It's motivation has been really bad. Like this stuff has made me like consider walking away from YouTube just because I am, I like, I don't, I'm not going to, I want to, I'm going to stay strong and make content and happily get back into it. But yeah, being around these guys, my passion has been completely just like just destroyed. Like it's not, it has not been fun and I'm going to, I'm going to work on it, but I think there's a lot that you guys can take away from this situation. And I'm really, I'm really bummed that, you know, a lot of people are probably going to be um, like bummed that these are the people they watch for so long and look up to, but overall it, it should be talked about just to show like you gotta be you gotta be good like just be good people like you should from watching this man i can't be honest i don't feel like mo i feel like mopey's being pretty genuine bro like um the dude was in a fucked up situation and when you're fucked up and you are part of something with some people a group of people you got to be able to be there for them man you got to be able to put up with that type of shit uh it's been a lot. I can't lie. The fact that Two Hype has went through so many different people and the stories have all been quiet, um, it has to be something more to it. You know what I'm saying? That's not being said. You know, you 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 had TD, you had Los, you had Mopey, you had um, uh, Mal, and I know Mal personally. So it's like something's going on that's just being unsaid. So it is what it is. I'm about to end this video. Upload this video now, and I'm gonna go watch this Cash Nasty one to see what the fuck Cash got to say, cause I'm curious to know. So I'm out, man. I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description to this main video to check it out, man. Salute to Mopey. I might have to ride with you though on this one, Mopey. I don't know.